This is a blackout half sleeve. And believe it or not, blackout sleeves are one of the hardest things in tattooing to master and get correct. Well, in this video, I'm gonna explain how I achieved this, so stick around. In 2023, blackout sleeves are becoming increasingly popular. To some, they look incredible. To others, not so much. There's a multitude of reasons for having blackout sleeves, but let's be honest, the main one is probably cover-ups. When you black out old tattoos, that black leaves a clean slate so you can work on top of that black or leave the black how it is. But they aren't just used for cover-ups. I know a multitude of people that have blackout sleeves going from a clean arm. But to do a blackout sleeve correctly, there is a few things that you need to know, so let's talk about them. So first, let's talk about the machine. Blackout sleeves need to be consistent and not patchy. And one of the best tools for that is a high stroke tattoo machine. Having a 3.5 stroke would be okay, but ideally you need to be working at a 4 to a 4.2. This is because the stroke of the machine dictates how far back that needle retracts into the tube. And the more it retracts, the more pigment that needle is collecting on the way back out. But not only that, machines with a higher stroke deliver a harder hit, which makes it faster to deliver the pigment into the area that you are working. When I'm doing blackouts, I always choose to use a direct drive machine also, and I do not use any give whatsoever. Now onto the needles that you should be using. My advice would be to use the needle that you are most comfortable with. For example, for me, the 27 mag just works better. When I use the 47 mag, I find that my black does not go in as quick and it does not go in as consistent. Therefore, if I'm to use the 47 mag, the possibilities of me overworking are there, but also not having that black as consistent as when I use the 27 mag. So use the needle that works best for you. However, there is some little caveats that you should know. When you are doing blackouts, please stay away from bug pins and curved mags, and here's why. Bug pins are smaller in diameter, which creates a smaller puncture hole in skin. And because you are creating a smaller puncture hole, that means that less pigment can be delivered. Remember for blackouts, we need the most pigment possible to be delivered. And then we have the curved mag. Now the reason you don't want to be using curved mag is because they are curved on the edges, which when you are doing blackout with a curved mag, because you have that curve on the edges, you are actually depositing pigment at different depths. And again, you need the consistency of the same depth throughout the entire process. And lastly, my advice would be to stay away from long tapered needles. Long taper, again, creates a smaller puncture hole, but it also delivers a slower ink flow. And when we are doing blackout, being slow is not what we want. Therefore, the best needles for packing black and doing blackout sleeves would be a straight magnum, of the magnum that you feel the most comfortable with, a 12 gauge diameter needle to create the bigger puncture hole to deposit more pigment, with a regular taper to deliver pigment faster. So we know the machine that we need to be using, we know the needle that we need to be using. So what about technique? The most important thing to remember is it doesn't matter whether you use the circular motion, whether you use a back and forth motion, whether you use a cross hatching motion to pack your black. The most important thing is consistency in your technique. It needs to be flawless throughout. You need to be hitting the same depth. You need to be working at the same speed. You need to be hitting the same amount of passes. You need to keep your machine at the same angle from start to finish. All these things is something that you need to be thinking about when blacking out, and they will aid in a better, more consistent blackout sleeve. Next is pigment. Now for me, I like to use a higher viscosity. If you don't know what that means, it's basically a posh word for saying thickness. So I like to use a thicker pigment. That's why I like to use Panthera's Triple X, not sponsored. 
I just find that to be the best pigment that I have used for blackout. Please do not try any thinner pigments like lining blacks because they just will not work as well. Now with regards to your pigment, you need to be consistently checking your pigment. Throughout the entire blackout process, there will be plasma that is produced by the client's skin. While you are working, that plasma is sucking up into your tube and then when you dip into your black, that plasma is going into that black, which is then diluting said black. And because that black is now diluted with that plasma, you are not getting the same consistent black that you was getting at the beginning of your session. And throughout the session, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. So when I am doing blackouts, I always have multiple pots of black set up, ready to change out. And finally, the stretch. Again, consistency. Just make sure you are stretching the same amount of pressure throughout your entire blackout process. Everything when it comes to packing black and blackout sleeves is all about being consistent and being methodical. Always remember the faster that you are when doing blackout, the better. One, it limits overworking, and two, it is much better for the client, so they do not have to sit there enduring that trauma for eight, nine hours. It isn't good to be slow on blackouts. Even though I recommend using the needle that best works for you, I also recommend using a, you know, a substantially bigger needle. I wouldn't be blacking out, for example, with a seven magnum. If you can use a 13, 15, 17, 23, those types of needles are gonna be vastly superior. When it comes to blacking out, you are potentially creating the most amount of trauma. So you need to do everything in your power to get it in quick to be able to move on. You have very limited time before the skin starts to break and just cannot take it anymore. But that is Blackout, guys. If you are new around here, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Please like this video. Likes really do help. Do not forget to turn on the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. But go out, have fun. Blackouts really are fun. They are really easy once you know how to do them. Go out, practice. If you want to join my Patreon, the link is in the description. Peace out, guys. Muchest love.